you know, understanding myeloma and, and frankly, all plasma cell disorders that would include AL amyloidosis is particularly important within the African-American community for a whole host of reasons. Firstly, and perhaps most importantly, these diseases are twice as common in patients of African descent. So as we think about biologically the disease, we know that it is considerably higher in incidence. Indeed, 20% of all myeloma patients in the United States are of African-American descent. Unfortunately, however, uh, it is not just an incidence issue. It really is an outcomes issue. So the outcomes of African-American patients with myeloma, sadly, are about half that survival of their white patient equivalents. So the mortality is twice as high in black patients with uh, multiple myeloma. And I use the term black and African-American somewhat interchangeably. We think of African-American descent as being the biological phenomenon, but patients who are black, whether they're of African descent or of Caribbean descent, we know have a longer delay in the diagnosis of myeloma, are more likely to have confounding diagnoses, are less likely to have access to the diagnostic uh, approaches that are necessary to suspect and confirm myeloma, and indeed, sadly, have access to the therapies that we know have changed outcomes in myeloma, which I often summarize with the four T's, as I call them, triplets or three drug combinations, transplants or stem cell transplants, trials or clinical trials that we know have improved outcomes in patients, and more recently, CAR T-cell therapy. We know that these four T's have significantly influenced the benefit of patients, but sadly, if patients don't have access, which we've seen that reduced access in the African-American population, and indeed within the Hispanic Latinx population, that this has uh, sadly resulted in inferior outcomes. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly on this point, we know in databases such as from the VA, where at least theoretically, everyone's given the same access to treatment, both, both diagnosis and treatment options, that African-American patients actually have a better outcome uh, than white patients. And so we have a lot to do. And I would argue that one of the greatest disparities, although we often speak of access to therapy, which is critical, but we cannot forget the importance of the early and accurate diagnosis of myeloma within the African-American community, such that we ensure that we look at confounding diagnoses that may mislead us, and that we obtain the, the appropriate tests, which include a CBC, a biochemical profile, the serum protein electrophoresis with immunofixation, and very importantly, the serum-free light chain assay.